Hey, Redcon Trader here, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. As today, we clear out the rest of the Undercroft. Who knows what sinister secrets still hide here, amidst the deepest depths of humanity. I'm gonna guess it's like 90% vendor trash. Maybe a quick little upgrade or two. Possibly more cultists? That'd be nice. And even if not, we know we've got more rebels just up top. So we're pretty much guaranteed to get into at least a fight today. Is there money to be made? Um, you know what, we'll come back to that. Oh, right, might as well open this. Which would have actually put us in a much better tactical position. I mean, the one we ended up in was still decent, but... But I think that door, if we had just gone through it, would have actually given us immediate line of sight to that cultist leader. And then, of course, this is where we came in. Possessed Damon Engine Heart. Oh my. And the Book of Lorgar. As well as a deep dank tunnel. Dare we plumb these unholy deaths? Not just yet. I always keep my options open. This vault can be opened via the cogitator. All that remains is to figure out how to awaken the machine spirit by supplying it with the motive force. And there's another exit. That probably puts us up behind the second group. Alright, so what are we doing here? Power the cogitator. Actually, let's look at this first. You managed to decipher the technical litany. According to it, in order to perform the ritual of motive force, you must supply power, make sure the relay is closed, check that the damper is latched, and the supplementary external relay is shut. The supply must be correctly distributed, and in no case must the flow be reset before the circuit is closed. The sacraments have been laid bare and put on public display. Outsiders should avert their eyes, for it is not for their minds that holy scripture was created. Okay. So, supply power. Make sure relay is closed. Check damper latch. Uh, shut external relay. Correctly distribute supply. Do not reset. Um, alright. Sure. So, supply power. Just as I planned. The motive force will not be able to pass through an open circuit. The cables should be examined, and all sacred nodes should be checked. Ah, okay, thank you, Pascal. That does help. So we just need to follow the cable. So, unlatch damper? Your secular attempts affront the machine spirits. May the blind be forgiven for their ignorance. Cool, off to a good start here. Um, okay, so the wire goes over here now. Close the relay. Maybe that's what we were supposed to start with? My success is an irrefutable certainty. Everything appears correct. Fantastic. So where do we go from here? Oh. Uh, well... 
Um, is that? No, that's not the same cable. That's a different cable. All right, you know what? We'll just start walking around the room. We're going to have to brute force this. Cool. That's right. Uh, what else? Do not reset the motive force. Distribute supply. Yes, that sounds like a thing we need to do. Okay, maybe this one. Success is the only outcome I accept. Hey, there we go. And also close the relay. Nothing happened. That's fine. Um, latch damper. This is this something? Close relay. Oh, okay. And did we already do this one? Was there another damper? Oh, well, scratch that. Unlock save. That's how it's done. Yeah, yeah, well said, Valen. That is indeed how it's done. You walk in a big circle pushing things till something happens. And uh, that nets us some vendor trash. Cool. No, no, well, I mean, we got a level up, so I'll take it. That actually does make it worth our while. Alcat has a really spotty history when it comes to puzzles. At least it was relatively quick, so I can't really complain. Anyway. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Aurora's Sermon. It's coming! It's coming! It's drawing ever nearer! Heed the word of Aurora! Abandon all your mundane affairs! Ambition is but dust! Desire is but rust upon the metal of the soul! The final dawn is coming! It will put an end to all worldly vanities! So Aurora was not the cultist we just killed, right? She's still presumably kicking around here somewhere. Phantom Cloak. Plus 15% armor versus warp damage. Very basic, but potentially useful. I would toss that to Adira to help protect her from herself, but I feel like she gets better use out of that stasis pack. We'll toss it to Abby. Make him ever so slightly tankier. And what's going on over here? The markings on this Voxcaster clearly indicate that it belongs to the Planetary Wardens. There are visible scratches and traces of blood on the device. The Cogitator screen reads... Access code required. Well, I mean, might as well go for the XP. The machine spirits look favorably upon you. You overcome the cogitator's defenses. A message archive loads up. Judging by the accompanying notes, the messages were meticulously transferred from paper to the sacred machine storage. New missive. Heed the words of a harbinger of Aurora. Let it be known to you that the prophesied hour is nigh, and the faithful must triple their efforts. Those who stand in the way of our salvation must be swept away. Let it be revealed to you that the enemy is about to receive reinforcements. Remember the name, Valen von Valencius. His ship has already entered the system. We should expect this enemy to appear near our positions. Whoever rids our comrades of this threat will be granted Aurora's special blessing. A chance to stand at the Prophet's side when the hour comes. Be vigilant. Let the final dawn come. New missive. Aurora's Harbingers wish you to know, comrades, that the Von Valencius ship is heading for the Navigator's station. You've got time to prepare a warm welcome. 
for the enemy. Nice. That's a fun bit of reactivity. It actually acknowledges what order we hit the three main locations in. Tell the Harbingers we've intercepted a convoy of the Governor's underlings, who are supposed to meet that Von Valancius bloke. Only one out of the whole convoy got away, but he's not long for this world. No one's making it to the Governor's hole. Not that youngster or the one he's supposed to meet. Our comrades have got their hands on the guard's boxcaster. And these fools have no clue. We can hear all their comms. We know their every movement, and we're going to throw them a fine welcome party. Aurora must have no doubts that we'll do whatever it takes to stop her enemies. Let the final dawn come! Ah, uh, and that, of course, chronicles the demise of poor Private Regius, or Regius, whatever it was. Ah, uh, well, you can't save everyone. But, uh, interesting. So we found a stolen boxcaster and have resecured it. That should help the local planetary defenses. Oh, let's uh let's scope out the rest of this hallway. I always have a backup plan. Huh. Not sure where that one would take us. Let us know Doodle. Alright, well, obviously we're checking out the sewers before we go back up top, but before we do that, let's knock out this level up. One sec, whilst I check my notes. And we're back. And yeah, uh, once again, fairly straightforward level up. We just get one skill bump and one characteristic bump, so everyone's pretty well established at this point. For Valen, we've capped out Logic, so we'll go ahead and cap out Lore Imperium as well. And then for his characteristic, we're just going to go ahead and cap Intelligence, which, thanks to our talent from last time around, will now round out at 60. After that, we've got Abby. Oh, right, he actually gets a talent. Um, and I was going to go with clenched teeth to lean into the tank thing, but near as I can tell, that talent apparently still does not work, so we'll push it back for now and instead grab Interception. That'll give him some slightly extra leeway when it comes to action point management, since he's already kind of struggling with that. As for his characteristic... We are going to go slightly off script and actually bump up his strength, which we need at 45 to take heavy armor proficiency. Or power armor, if we can ever actually find some. Short term, though, we'll, uh, we'll use our next two characteristic advances to round out weapon skill and strength. Next, we've got Adira. And she has already capped Warp Lore, so we'll go ahead and cap out Awareness. And for her characteristic, we do need to start bumping up her intelligence. But first, we'll go ahead and cap out her willpower, since that's her primary offensive attribute. Then we've got Argenta. And she also gets a talent. And because I'm having fun with AoEs, we'll go ahead and grab Tenderize. Not the best talent for her, but but one that I thought might be fun. As for a characteristic, we'll just keep cranking agility. That bumps her dodge and her demo. Which brings us to Cassie. And she's capped Persuasion, so as mentioned last time, we will go ahead and start cranking up her Coercion. Still on the fence with Commerce, but we'll worry about that later. In the meantime, though, we will start cranking up her fellowship, so Commerce won't be left completely behind. I mean, long term, the big issue is just that characters don't get enough skill advances to maintain three full skills. They have enough for two and a half. But, you know, we'll see how things shake out as we get further in. 
Which brings us to Pask. We'll cap his Medicaid. And then as far as characteristics go, I guess we'll round up his weapon skill. Ballistic skill is pretty much useless to him. Perceptions of questionable use. I'd actually love to round out his toughness, but it's just not an option. We can do it with a talent, but that's for later down the line. But regardless, let's push on. These sewers won't wade through themselves. Hmm. Generic loading screen. That's the streets above, not the sewers below. Underhive rabble. Have mercy! I've already been robbed blind! Spare my life! I'm begging you! You feel a slight prickling sensation at the back of your head. The barrier between worlds has grown so thin here that you can feel a breeze coming from the other side. The voices belonging to many residents of the lower levels merge into a single humming noise. Unnerving and oppressive, much like the surrounding catacombs. That's probably fine. A toxic flow of murky liquid comes down from the higher levels via ancient, rusted pipes. I must thank you, esteemed Magos. After your intervention, I feel 50 years younger. Both my knee implants are as good as new. I agree to help out of respect for the price array of augmentations placed in your body. Such sacred creations deserve the best maintenance available. I wish I could figure out how to do that voice effect. That's very distinctive. Just as I planned. You hear a shrill, baleful giggling coming from behind you. And it is getting louder. But there is no one there. Always keep your eye on the price. Nice, nice. I'll take that. You all saw it. He said I could take it. Sister Argenta, you are always shrouded in a greenish-gray mist when I see you. Is it me that troubles you? Or is it whatever I can see behind it? My soul is open to the light and his faithful servants. The rest is merely fleeting frailties that hold no significance. Huh. Party's feeling really chatty all of a sudden. Then again, we are currently wandering through the sewers. I suppose it is an ideal place for some proper venting. Is there money to be made? I always get the job done. Oh, of course. You let your guard down for a second, you get mooned. Story of my life. All right, Harold. You're about to get spanked. We've got a convenient ledge here. Let's get range support up top. Away from any pesky auras or AoEs. We'll have Abby and Pask set up to flank. Keep this guy hemmed in. And then Argenta hanging back. Flamer at the ready. Cass up first with a half turn. Let's lead with a D.O.T. Modest damage. D.O.T. Chaser. 
Good start. Could step off the platform, but I'm not seeing much incentive to do that just yet. We'll hang tight for now. Madeira gets a full turn next. So, we'll buff up our melee, starting with Abby. And then slap on another layer of poison. Anything is. And Valen. Keep pouring it on. On it. I'll see to it personally. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. All right, fair enough. Mental manipulation. Okay, that that wasn't bad. That could have been worse. Though we are now surrounded by mooks. Debuffs are annoying, but nothing too terrible. Let's buy ourselves some breathing room. Gotta go Adira again. She's the most efficient at clearing out mooks. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Nice. Oh, uh Bye, I guess. Also, hello, wave two. My goodness. Okay. Well, I guess the plan has changed. Let's peel this guy off the ladder. Nice. Nasty hit on Abby. No trauma. Moderate hit on Pask. Let's return the favor. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll clear these guys before we push up. Lovely. Two out, two left. Hopefully Argenta's got him. Angle's a little awkward. I don't remember if we can point blank a flamer. I know we can with a hand flamer, but let's not risk it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. Run and gun. Ooh, close. Wave two, very slowly incoming. Though we do still have friendlies, so that buys us an extra round or two. At least until Harold finishes converting them all. Plus nine on damage for Pask. And too far for anything else, so 
Hold tight. Wave two just kind of milling. Let's keep whittling. We'll buff then arc. Awkward, but that'll at least refresh the poison. My ears are ringing. Right, 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 right. Gotta watch that. We are at maximum degradation. I should really, I should really be leaning less on those powers right now. Tag. Oh, interesting. Looks like he's going for the easier targets. Or he's trying to rouse more rabble. Let's get, uh, let's get Abby in there. Try to lock that guy down. We'll set up for a leapfrog chain. Fire off the alt. It will be done. Oof. Okay, well that's that's unfortunate, but fine. Yeah, it's fine. He can still engage on his own turn. And we can still fire off a taunt. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Okay, Abby, let's get you in there. I will do like you. Damage buff applied. Go for a knockdown. Victory is imminent. <laughs> wow. Hit him so hard, we knocked him straight through space time. My goodness. Okay, I guess we'll start circling wide. Catch him in a pincer. Rabble's still on our side, too. Hopefully, that knockdown costs him a turn. We might actually be able to save some of these folks.
Let's free up Abby so we can keep pushing. We should also net some spillover. Abby's clear. Very minor spillover. Eight damage. But we'll take it. It all adds up. This is perfect. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, oh, geez. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Pain and duty go hand in hand. So apparently we will not be saving anyone. Except for maybe Argenta, I hope. We'll just notch this up as a learning experience. Oh, boo, that would have been perfect. All right, fair enough. Valen, please peel that thing off her. Modest tag. Abby at half. We're starting to feel some pressure here. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, double parry. Wow. That sucked. Okay. Uh, just hang tight, bud. That'll at least keep him distracted. Buy us time to finish this guy off. Oh, nice. Flamer can be used at point blank. Good to know. I'll do it. And that might be enough to do it with DOTs. But let's that hedge our bets. Not the Emperor's whip. Yeah, yeah, let's drop him. We'll mop the mooks up after. I just don't want him springing any more tricks on us. And down goes Moonface. Though, sadly, I guess these guys have to go with him. Poor guys. Washed away in the tides of the Luna Sea. Ah, well. More loot and XP for us, I suppose. Who is not me? Alright over there, Abby. 
Thank goodness we grabbed Epicenter of Slaughter. That's the main thing keeping him propped up right now. Step aside. The Navigator is coming. In the name of House Orcelio, I shall prevail! Nice. And nice. Oh, not sure she has line of sight, but let's let's see. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Perfect. Though that might not have actually been enough. At your back and call. That was. Yeah, we gotta get Abby a proper thunder hammer. Then we can have real fun with knockback. Doubt is for nothing can escape the Emperor's judgment. Job's done. Herald of Tsiench dispatched. Keep your wits about you. Along with uh, a whole sub-level worth of rabble. Sorry, guys. But on the bright side, we did net a hypnotizing pendant. When the wearer successfully hits with a single shot attack, the target suffers slowed until the wearer's next turn. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. We'll go ahead and toss that to Valen. All of his attacks are single target. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Anything else? Some modest cargo, we'll take it. Plus, maybe two or three stacks worth of melee and ranged weapons. That'll be maybe two, three hundred rep. This filthy excuse for a table is smeared with someone's dinner, consisting of algae and corpse starch. I always keep my options open. Um, yeah, I don't know if you should keep your options open when it comes to this stuff, but I'm not a picky eater, but I might draw the line at something called corpse starch. Algae crisps are good, though. Oh, and that's where we came in. Okay, so... So I guess that's it. Let us not dawdle. Alright, not bad. Seems like a largely optional combat encounter with no real narrative attached to it. But it was a fun fight. Actually put some pressure on us for once with a nice reward. I'd say that was well worth our time. That said, we've still got some time left, so let's push back up top. Clear that last group. And this door should put us right behind them. Yes, yes. This is the steamy walkway we saw earlier. Complete with this hidden stash over here. Ooh, nice. Now let's push up the other way. Come up behind these guys. I always have a backup plan. Over there. Uh, over where? Oh, I see. Keep your wits about you. Oh, also. That might actually not be a good approach. That does not look great. Duty prevails. Yeah, you know what? Immediate second thoughts. Let's pull back. 
Our main advantage is range, which we would absolutely be sacrificing from that angle. Actually, maybe we're better off up here. Let me scope that out real quick. Oh, shit. Uh, well... <laughs> Such is the price of my waffling. Valen got impatient and took matters into his own hand. Jumped the gun. Alright, fair enough, bud. Sorry about that. On the bright side, we do have some decent range here, so we'll, uh, we'll try to use that to our advantage. Though the downside here is that half our crew is like a mile away. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> can't even complain. I did this to myself. All right, let's do this. Might as well get buff. But of course. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. More buffs. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. On it. Firestarter incoming. Ooh, three. No, five. Got it. Holy crap, I am so glad we did not engage these guys close up. Let's clear the gunners, but maintain distance. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. As the Emperor commands, I act. Cool. I'll do it. Off to a great start here. Should have just flamed out. This is unacceptable. I agree. Oh, you're killing me, Argenta. Pain cleanses the body. Dings on Argenta. Oh, but no fire, thank goodness. Adir is still too far out. More buffs. Yeah, we'll do Valen. Anything else? Oh. <laughs> Easy there, Adira. We're not even at half degradation yet. All right, let's start. Putting out fires. That's one. But we still have at least four. Abby's up. Let's get him on point. He'll soak fire, buy us more time.
Meanwhile, we'll have Val drop another one. I'll see to it personally. Might even get a two for here. Fingers crossed. Another enemy ah. down. We'll take it. We'll take it. One is better than none. And uh, let's see if we can notch up another one. We'll try to pull this guy off Abby. Ah. Actually, you know what? That that still works. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. But nonetheless, let's get you some fire support. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Good start. Let's go, Alt. resides in the will of the righteous. Fantastic. Bonus? <laughs> hey, okay. Nice. And one more shot. Rejoice in battle. This is why I was chosen. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to miss Argenta when we phase her out. Sadly, it's the curse of the CRPG. Too many companions, not enough slots. Though at least we've got a full six slot party in this game. Those four slot parties are rough. And we're pretty much done now. Just mopping up the last few mooks. my principles. You never stood a chance. All right, Abby, let's brush these guys aside. It will be done. Nice. Rush into incoming fire. Armor up. Let's pull that guy clear for Argenta. Bonus. Each strike 
is a threat. And then there was one. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Oh, I see. You might try to run. But I'm in hot pursuit. Sunglasses on, airboat, cue scream. <laughs> okay, potential disaster averted. We are past time, though. Let's uh, scoop our loot, and then I think we'll be at a good stopping point. I think this is it for the main concourse. We'll need to swing by our fellow fellowship ship. See what else we might prize from their holds. The heretical trophies, in particular, are highly valued by the Fellowship of the Void. I think they pay 500 rep per stack, so those alone should net us a few more items. The fountain's merry murmur seems to mock the surrounding chaos and desolation. And a heretical mesh vest. Huh. I think that's actually a step down from the other one we found. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. I suppose we could slap one of those on Adira. She is a heretic, technically speaking. It just feels weird, you know? I feel like she's more of a dodge build. So saddling her with something that comes with a dodge malice feels counterintuitive. That'd be what? Net plus 15% armor, plus 5 toughness, minus 25% dodge? Let me know what you guys think on that. I'm, I'm on the fence. Especially with forewarning, which I think is dodge-based, right? Anyway, we are indeed done with the concourse. Pretty story light today, but we had two nice fights, some decent rewards, and a level up. Not to mention that weird wiring puzzle. We'll hit the pause button for now. I'll take care of the usual off-screen bookkeeping, clean up our inventories a bit. And we will pick up here next time. As we, uh, hopefully, finally, come face to face with the governor. It's been a long time coming. We never quite got there back in beta. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible, including but not limited to Revenant, Eloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Diemsa, Nathan Waltz Jr., Overlord Verum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you can even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. <laughs>